Hello dear viewers and welcome to the online student academic channel. In this short tutorial we shall see how to import data from Excel to Global Mapper. So as procedure we have step 1. Open the Excel file and save it as a comma delimited text file. Step 2. Open Global Mapper and configure the coordinate system as that of the Excel file. Step 3. Load sample raw data and then load the CSV file and finally verify that the, the data fall in the required geographical location. So let's get started. Opening the the required Excel file. So these are towns or main town of the Cameroon country with various coordinates X and and Y. So we have to save this uh, file into a format that can easily be uh, accessible in Global Mapper, and that format is the comma limited text file. So we save, we go on, we go on file, save as, we browse, we go on on save as type. We choose the type. It should be the comma limited. As you can see, comma delimited file. We, 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 we click and save. Save, save. Okay, you make sure that you remove this column so we can now we can remove this column and we save again. Save again, save and we minimize our our Excel file. Then we open Google Mapper. On Google Mapper, we go on tools. Until we configure our coordinate system, take note it should be the same with that of the Excel file. It should be it is UTM in, in, in the zone is in Cameroon, so it is um, the zone is 32, 32 the Cameroon zone is 32 north, north as you can see, 32 northern hemisphere. So we took the northern hemisphere. And we apply OK. Next, we load sample data for verification at the end. We, we zoom to our geographical location, which is Cameroon. Cameroon. We can now uh, we can unmark this layer. Then we add our 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 CSV data. We browse to the folder in a similar way. We Look for the comma limited separated text. We choose which is the main town. We tap and we open. So at this level, we have some parameter to input, like for example, the this one at the input type, some parameter at the coordinate delimiter, we have some parameter at the coordinate column, and we have some parameter to put. Like for example, at this level, we have a you have to input, you have to mark here so that it should be because we, we have only point, we don't have lines, no areas, features, we have point features. Here you have to put um you have to put here one and I will explain why. I will explain why why we have to put one there. At this level, at the level of the coordinate format, we allow it at default automatically it will take the UTM format at the level of the a level of the coordinate limited, we have auto detect automatically. If we detect the coordinate, they limited. So let us now let us mark here and put one here. Or let me explain why. I have to put one one here. Okay, we go. I'll go back on Excel. You see that we have the first column is what it represents it's the 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 towns, the main town, and you have the x coordinate and you have the y coordinate. So you have to skip this column so as to start. Uh, you're referencing with this coordinate, so that's why we have to put here one and here we mark and we allow the other that. Okay, we verify our projection our coordinate system and we apply. So, as you can see, these are the these are the 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 point, the point layer. Containing the town, the main town of the Cameroon region. We can now verify. 
you can just you can simply verify whether you are in the same geographical location we have to receive in Cameroon. You can see these are the various main towns in Cameroon with the capital, with the political capital Yaoundé and the economic um, capital Douala. Douala. So that comes to the end of this uh, presentation. If you found this video helpful, then kindly like, share, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned.